everybody and welcome back to my channel and as promised today is going to be my August favourites. So this is going to be my favourites both in beauty and non-beauty. So I'm going to start off with the beauty favourites and then I'm going to move into the non-beauty favourites. So I've got a couple of foundations, a couple of eyeshadows, a couple of palettes and I'm just going to get into the video. So firstly I'm going to start off with foundations. One of my favourite foundations um, this month has been the Miss Sporty um, Mission Correction, the Foundation Concealer and Highlighter. I have it in the shade 1 Ivory. Um, I find this is a really good colour match for myself. I'm very, very pale and it's sometimes difficult to find a foundation that is pale enough for me. Um, I feel that this gives me super duper light but really durable coverage. Um, it doesn't actually say on here how long it lasts for um, but I'd say it pushes a good 10 hours um, depending on how much you layer it and I sort of put like a thin layer on and if I feel I need a little bit more I will put some more on. The concealing side isn't so good, the highlighting side isn't so good but as a foundation it's Pretty, pretty decent. Um, this is, I think, about three ninety nine in Boots or Superdrug. Um, and definitely, girls, if you are on a serious budget and you have pretty good skin, I would recommend checking this one out. Um, a bit more of an up there foundation, but still from the high street or the drugstore, whichever you'd like to call it, is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Eau de Tan. Um, I have this in the shade 150 Nude Beige. What I really like about this, again, is it's super duper light coverage. Um, it's very buildable, it's very wearable. The oxidisation on it can sometimes drive you a bit bananas because you can look a bit orange. Um, but if you apply it in um, really light layers, it's not so bad. It does really blend to your skin tone. And I just think this consistency is gorgeous. It also contains an SPF of 18 in it. And to be honest, when I'm wearing this foundation, 9 times out of 10, I forget I've even got it on. Um, but it just gives me the confidence knowing that I've just got a little bit of something something on my skin. Um, and the last favourite, which might be a surprise, might not, is my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in 005 Porcelain. I love this for a full coverage foundation so if I'm going to an event or something like that I will reach for this foundation. It doesn't look too cakey and I just think it's absolutely brilliant for the money and I think it's around six, seven pounds uh, from Boots or Superdrug and I definitely think it's worth checking out, it's worth the money and if you've got say a natural foundation so something like this and this, it will last you quite a long time, so it can work out very, very cost effective as well. Moving on to the eyes, um, as I said, I do have a couple of eye favourites. My first one being the L'Oreal Colour Infallible in 001 Time Resistant White. I've got it all over my eyelids today, and what I've been enjoying doing is sort of putting this on, and then also using another one that I've got in all night blue and tapping it on really really lightly and creating like a sky blue look um, I'm eventually hoping to create like an elsa -y look um, but I've just gone with this today because I feel that it brightens the eye really really well and then I've just put my normal wing liner on top and I just think that it looks really really nice like minimal makeup wise um, I love the formulation of this it's like a pigment but obviously it's pressed um, with the packaging and it is pretty much identical to the Giorgio Armani um, pressed pigments in packaging and everything and the consistency is pretty much the same as well I went shopping the other day and I swatched the Giorgio Armani and when I got home um, I swatched this one directly next to it they felt exactly the same although um, I do know that L'Oreal does own Giorgio Armani so that's probably why a lot of their products are very very similar and I would seriously recommend guys and girls that if you are sceptical about trying a product either try and buy or get a sample or find L'Oreal or whatever and try and get something similar and see if you like it first off. 
Another fan favourite is the 24 hour colour tattoo by Maybelline and this is in on and on bronze or in the US it is bad to the bronze. I freaking love this thing. I think honestly I've been wearing it non-stop apart from today I normally put it under, underneath all my eyeshadows give them a bit of a base and it's just absolutely stunning to wear on its own or it just adds a different dimension to your eyeshadows and I absolutely love it. Um, sort of backtracking slightly just because it's in front of me. Um, I've also been loving my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline in the shade 15. Um, I really like this. It brightens, it conceals, it does everything. I think I'm going to now try the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. As I wasn't sure if I'd really love a liquid concealer, but this one has rocked my world. So I think I'm going to go and try that one because everybody rants and raves about it and they seem to really love it. Um, going back to my eyes, a mascara that I've been loving is the L'Oreal Paris Mega Volume Miss Manga Punky. I love the brush um, and just how spidery it makes my lashes look. There is the brush, just so you can see what it's like. It's kind of a rubbery um, consistency. I really, really like it. I think it's very good for its money. Um, I did get it when it was on sale for $4.99. I definitely wouldn't pay $9.99 for this mascara because there's others like the Maybelline Colossal Volume and the Bourjois One Second Volume that I prefer way more. Um, but... For four ninety nine, I love it. It gives volume. It doesn't look too spidery on myself, and I would definitely recommend giving it a look. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Moving on to some lips. Um, my combination that I've been loving at the moment is this Barbara Daly Trade Secrets Lip Liner Pencil in Sugar and Spice, which is this like dusky pinky colour. Um, I've just been using it to line my lips so that it stops any lipstick, no matter what colour it is, just from bleeding out and also try and stop it from settling into any fine lines. And then I've been absolutely loving wearing the 470 Moisture Renew um, lipstick by Rimmel in Glam Plum Fulham and it's the colour I've got on my lips right now. I love how deep berry it is, it's very buildable, it's very comfortable and it's just an all round great lipstick. The only thing that I don't like personally about this particular one is the smell of it. But if you can get past the smell, the shade is gorgeous, the formulation of the lipstick is lovely and I just think it's a great thing to look into the Moisture Renew line because they're not too super gl uh, glammy, <laughs> glossy even, um, but they do give a really beautiful colour and I've tried a couple of different ones now um, and I just think that the formulation is gorgeous. Um, so sticking on makeup but not necessarily makeup products, um, I've just got two no, sorry, three favourites. The first one being this Skin Sensitive Skin Eye Makeup Remover from Wilkinson's. I really, really like this. It is so, so nice, so, so gentle. It gets rid of waterproof mascara. It gets rid of really stubborn eyeliner. And believe you me, um, sometimes these Ico Skinny Liquid Liners can be a pain in the butt to get off. And this um, just makes such simple work of it. I put it on a cotton round, sit it on my eye for about 10 seconds, move it away, and it's gone. Um, sticking on the eye makeup remover, um, I've also been loving my Chamomile Waterproof Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. I've always loved this stuff. It's about £8 a bottle. I think it might have been repackaged now. Um, but I just love the split consistency, the shake-up, and again... About 10 seconds on the eye, wipe, and it is gone. My last favourite has been my brush cleaner. And this is one of the only things I have really saved for and, like, loved the fact that I've done it. And it is the MAC brush cleaner. Um, as you can see, I've not used a lot out of the bottle. Um, I keep it in a little spray bottle. Spray um, a cotton round or something. And then just clean my brushes with it and then obviously give my brushes like a really deep clean as well um hence why i've got quite a lot left i really really like it it doesn't smell offensive whatsoever and i think for 10 pounds for the size that you get which is 
235 millilitres or 7.9 US fluid ounces. It's really, really worth the money. Um, that was like my first MAC product that I bought that I knew was legit MAC and I don't regret buying it whatsoever. I've smelled other brush cleaners and I've also tried a couple and they were just either useless or the smell really, really offended me and MAC have just got it bang on. Um, like I said, it, it doesn't smell offensive. It's not really got a scent at all and it cleans your brushes really, really well. So that has been a firm, firm, firm favourite. Um, so moving on to like fashion -y items, I've only got two fashion items this month. The first one being um, these little leopard print or cheetah print pumps. Um, I'm not sure exactly where they were from because I found these in a charity shop. They've barely been worn. They say in the wide fit and sole desire if you can see. Um, they're a size 5, they're super duper comfortable, they've got really lovely cushioning to them and I just absolutely love them. In fact I'm loving open flats right now um, but these are just, excuse me, the most comfortable ones that I own and I absolutely love them to death. Um, the other fashion favourite is my little dress from Tesco that was £8 in the sale. I absolutely love this. The quality is amazing uh, for £8. It's got the little Peter Pan colour on it and obviously as you can see it's like a black base with white British grey flowers on it and it's just really 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 nice. So if you get a chance to get anything similar to that I would highly recommend it. Um, one perfume favourite this month has been my Escada Rock in Rio perfume. You need so little of this to get such a gorgeous scent out of it. And I really love this packaging because as you take the lid off, it comes with like this little pink stopper which actually seems to get some of the perfume. And then you just dab it on wherever you want to dab it. Like that. And that's it. That's your... Uh, perfume applied it stays around pretty well um, I say I probably reapply it every three four hours um, it can last longer it can wear off quicker it depends what I'm doing um, but I really really love that scent it's very summery it's very fruity and I just absolutely love it and it's actually not a scent that I would normally have gone for so thank you to X Urban Bella or X Urban Beauty. She also has a channel X Urban Sims and now has another channel called Jennifer Lynn who um, actually put me onto that. And if I can remember, I'm gonna link as many of these products as I can in the down bar as well as all of Jen's channels because Jen is absolutely amazing and you guys should totally go and check her out. Um, obviously her main focus is her simming channel. So if you love the Sims, Sims 4, Sims 3, go have a look. She's got some fabulous videos and her storytelling is Brill. Um, but anyway, getting sidetracked, um, I've got a couple of YouTuber favourites, one of them being Jen on all the channels just mentioned, another one being the Sacconi Jolies, again, they are just brilliant. Um, Amelia and Eduardo just make my day. Whenever I'm having a bit of an off day, I will find one of their old videos, watch it. Amelia and Eduardo just cheer me straight up and Anna and Jonathan seem like some of the loveliest people you could ever meet and if one day I do get to meet the Zaccone Jolies I will be absolutely honoured and I'm just looking forward to um, that day if it ever happens. Um, another favourite is Fleur de Force. Fleur de Force has just brought out her own eyelash range which I am still trying to get my little paws on um, but she is just brilliant. I absolutely love Fleur. I think Fleur is a really good inspiration to young women and if you want to go and check out any of her videos I'll leave a link to her below as well and then it is also Talk Becky Talk and Talk Becky Talk has just done a video about two or three videos back about all the haters and everything and Becky seems to be one of the loveliest people that you could ever meet so go check Becky out she's a tea nut <laughs> you will learn that from her videos very very quickly she loves her tea um but definitely go check Becky out and give her some love 
And um, my final favourite was just to do with music. And although I love all types of music and I'm currently really into like the charts and everything, these Saturdays have replaced my heart again. Um, I've just got that annual just to show you. The Saturdays are amazing. I love their music. It's so passionate. Like you can tell that they really, really care about what they're singing about. And then obviously as well, like I've been following some of the girls' stories. So like Una's just had a little boy. Frankie's just had a little boy. Molly's jetting around seeing Britney Spears. Rochelle's obviously on the Extra Factor and she's doing Ninja warrior as well and then Vanessa's currently on holiday but definitely go check out the girls um I will also if I can leave a playlist that I've created of like their top hits and also a collaboration video that the girls released um just go and give them a listen they are really good poppy people and I just think their songs can speak a thousand words in a few little sentences and they can really pull you out of a rut as well um so yep yeah, go give the saturday some love as well if you guys have any sort of um bands that you think i'd enjoy listening to leave them in the comments below and i will go and check them out also um I'm thinking about with the diet series, I'm now going to show you some progression on an app that I've downloaded which is my fitness pal and it's really really good for showing you what they recommend you should eat that day to get to your goal um, and also it just gives you bits of advice and I think that's absolutely brilliant. Um, so I'll be doing another diet video very very soon, I'm hoping to do one about once a month. Um, because then there should be like a real difference and I can let you know about it and um, if you guys have any video requests I would love to hear about them and just before I sign off as well I don't know whether they'll see this video or not but congratulations to Jim Chapman and Tanya Burr on your wedding you guys looked amazing and I'm just so so happy that YouTube is coming together in more ways than one because obviously now the the Burrs and the Chapmans are together as husband and wife and yeah so I hope that you guys enjoyed my August favourites and I will see you in my next video please do comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon bye